Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's the old guy here. And uh, I wanted to go back and correct something. Uh, when I did my proof of concept on, uh, oh, I don't know, five or six videos back on using uh, LED turn signals and uh, flasher, and... Uh, one of my followers told me that uh, there was no six volt uh, bulbs. And uh, I can't find the comment that uh, it, I th it was a young lady, I think. And, uh, or an old lady, I don't know. Uh, had a lady's name anyway. Um, so. I proved that they would work. I set up, did a setup on the table and followed a diagram and set up, hooked everything up with alligator clips and so on. And the turn signals flashed like they were supposed to and everything appeared to work. And so I put all that in the bike itself and uh, it still worked. But the lights were kind of dim. But anyway, I, I figured, well, it might work better once the charger gets in there and everything starts charging. So I uh, had a problem with one of the bulbs and I started uh, troubleshooting it. And I found out that the bulbs that were in those turn signals that I bought for $29 were actually 12 volt bulbs and they were not LED bulbs at all but they were incandescent bulbs so then I started looking for 6 volt LED bulbs and I couldn't find any in that particular format I think I forget the bases uh, it's a 251 or 351 base, I'm not sure. But it pokes down in and there's, well, I guess I could show you. Uh, I will later. But anyway, there's no 6 volt bulbs available. So then I got to thinking that those bulbs were so dim when they were blinking that I needed to do something so the solution I came up with was the one that the lady suggested and that is to use a power converter or a voltage converter which takes your 6 volts and spits out 12 volts so I hooked that up just loosely and lo and behold it works great. So I'm going to show you that and uh, let you know where I got it. And um, well, I got it on eBay, of course. That's where I get everything. <laughs> Doesn't everybody? So anyway, I'll show you that in just a second here. I think I've got everything hooked up. If we throw this switch, I hope you can see that. makes a nice squeal and that works all on six volts alrighty so here's what I got the uh, this is the converter and you can see the name on it there I think wait a minute let me turn it around so it's pointing the right direction there it is what is it? Digiten. Okay, and it takes anywhere from uh, 6 to 11 volts input and puts out 12.2 uh, or 3 volts, I think. I checked it with a meter. So I hooked up um, the the red wire which is the input I hooked that 
right? I took the lead off of the uh, uh, flasher and hooked that into the red. Then I took the yellow, which is the output, and I hooked that onto the flasher. So then I hooked the, uh, the two black wires, I hooked them both to ground. So I needed to, I put on some uh, spade lugs terminals on here to do that. Let me hook it up and I'll show you how it works. It's hooked up. Now all I need to do is turn the key on and it doesn't work. Something's wrong. I don't have ground. That's what's wrong. So, let's hook up a ground. Try that again. And nice and bright now. Both sides. Except for this bulb. And I'm not sure why that bulb is not flashing. But I was messing with these wires, so it's probably in there. I'll figure that out. But it does work. The only thing I'm thinking is, since it's 12 volts now, this uh, indicator bulb up here for the flashers is a 6-volt bulb. So I'll probably have to find... Uh, uh, a 12 volt replacement for that or it'll blow out I'm not real sure let me see you see it's working now nice and bright all right well I will troubleshoot this and get this other bulb working Maybe it blew it out. I don't know. I do have some 12-volt uh, uh, LED bulbs that should work now. So we'll check that out too.